The atmosphere refers to the gaseous envelope that surrounds the Earth, which is held by the force of gravity. This envelope moves with the rotation of the Earth and extends from the surface up to the boundary of space. The various properties that make up the atmosphere are pressure, temperature, density, and humidity. With 78% of the atmosphere being nitrogen, 21% is oxygen, and the remaining 1% is made up of other gases like argon and carbon dioxide. There are five layers in the atmosphere, which consist of the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere, and exosphere. Pilots mainly concentrate on the troposphere because that's where most flying happens, and it's also where almost all the water vapor in the atmosphere is found, as this layer makes up 75% of the total atmospheric mass. The upper boundary of the troposphere is known as the tropopause. It separates the troposphere from the stratosphere. Here, temperature ceases to decrease with height at the boundary of the tropopause. Past the boundary, the temperature drops. It can be as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius at the poles and plummet to minus 80 degrees Celsius at the equator. Its average height is around 36,000 feet with variances at the pole and equator. The stratosphere extends from the tropopause to approximately 164,000 feet above the surface of the Earth. Some flying still occurs in the lower parts of the stratosphere, combining the troposphere and lower parts of the stratosphere, which is often referred to as the aviation atmosphere. The stratosphere is generally stable with a consistent temperature that reaches about 0 degrees Celsius at its upper boundary. This temperature change is a result of ozone absorbing ultraviolet radiation and then emitting it as infrared heat. This is the boundary that separates the stratosphere from the mesosphere. In the mesosphere, temperature again decreases with height. The lowest temperature is approximately minus 90 degrees Celsius and occurs between 262,000 and 295,000 feet. We'll conclude here since the remaining layers don't hold significance in aviation. The International Standard Atmosphere, ISA, is a model used for the standardization of aircraft instruments. It was established with tables of values over a range of altitudes to provide a common reference for temperature and pressure. This is where the term lapse rate becomes a topic, which simply means the rate at which the atmospheric temperature drops with an increase in altitude. In normal terms, for every 1,000 feet of altitude increase, the temperature drops by 2 degrees Celsius within the troposphere. ISA deviation is the difference between the ISA temperature and the actual temperature. It can be a positive or a negative deviation. We also use the Jet Standard Atmosphere, JSA, which assumes that temperature lapses at 2 degrees Celsius per 1,000 feet to infinity. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more aviation insights.